How's it going guys? Welcome to the very first video in a series I'm gonna start doing on the different Obsidian plugins that I use to make my note taking easier and more streamlined. In this video specifically, I'm gonna be talking about three different plugins that allow me to organize my life, my daily life inside of Obsidian. So to get started, I'm just gonna make myself a bit smaller and I wanna show you kind of how I've got this set up and then from there you'll actually be able to see you know, what you want to take away from this, what you want to implement for yourself and what you feel, um, yeah, j just get some ideas from this. So the way that this works, as you can see, I'm, I'm inside one of my notes. This is the 24th of September, 2022. This is the date that I'm making this video. And this is what I see every single day when I go into my Obsidian. So essentially, I'll just quickly do this. What this is, is it's a combination of a lot of different things, things that I've like set up myself that I want to that I want to um, challenge myself to do every single day. So the first one is going to be five minute morning. And this is just like three different questions, things that I'm grateful for, three actions that would make today great. And then I also have some affirmations that I that I want to like write down. And so those are just it's, it's pretty much just that I've also got this like tick all the boxes, meditate, write out affirmations, visualization and reading for 30 minutes per day. Very simple stuff. Now, the next thing, um, which is pretty cool, is that inside of the weekly overview, I've got uh, firstly these two links, and this is not really that important. This is just like linking to a Google Sheet that I also fill out. And then I've also got like another note where I've got some affirmations. And underneath that, I use, it's a weekly review note that I've got embedded inside of my daily note. And the way that, that, that the setup is that it's continuously updating to the latest week, depending on yeah, which week that I'm in. So you can see right now, this is the weekly review of week 39. And what it shows you is your goals that you have for that week. So in every single daily note that gets populated, it's gonna show my overall goals for the week, which is really convenient. Now, the next thing is I've got like this work matrix and I'll show you this inside of, say I'm gonna go to tomorrow. Let's say I open up Sunday. So inside of Sunday, you can see exact same structure and I wanted to go to my work matrix. So basically what happens is that I, I wanna have some sort of priority of my to-do list for the day. And this is where I create my to-do list. So I have like high priority tasks and I have low priority tasks. And this just helps me to give some order to my tasks. Now that I've shown you that, um, there's just a couple more. So I've got this thing, which is actually quite amazing. And this is basically a data view query. I'll show you the query. What? I'll show you the query. So this is the query. And what it's doing is it's actually going through all of my previous day's notes into infinity and it's pulling all of the tasks, which I haven't marked off yet. So this is quite helpful, especially because for me, I write down a lot of stuff that I want to do and not all the time does it get implemented. I'm not super strict on myself. Like I, I like to just keep, keep track of this. So maybe once a week, what I'll do is I'll just start reading through these and I'll start seeing if there's anything that I've missed, something that I should bring top of mind that's actually quite important. Um, so you can see this, this one goes on quite a lot and uh, that's because I haven't uh, cleaned it up in a while, but I generally try to like go through here and see what I've, what I've actually completed and then I tick that off. And so over time, the goal is to get to the point where you're like at inbox zero, right? Where you've just finished all of your to-do list from the previous days and you're always on the, on the new day with a clean slate. All right, cool. Now the, ne the next one, and this is actually the, the last one that I'll just talk about here is the log. So the log is for me personally, this is just where I write down anything that doesn't fit in any of the other boxes that I wanna put into my daily notes. So if I have some ideas, if I have something that I want to remember, I just put it down over here and then I'll be able to find it because I, I generally go and look at this at the end of every single day. So yeah, that's pretty much the, the main five ones. And to be honest with you, these ones, I don't really use these ones too much. This was originally a, a template that I got from another YouTuber, Nicole van der Hooven. Uh, you should check her stuff out, she's great. And from the, the like, for, for me personally, I just haven't found a way to make this part of my routine yet. I just keep it here because I kind of hope that eventually uh, I, will, I will find a use for it. Yeah, this is like talking about your daily review, what you're proud of, etc. All right, cool. Um, so with that said, like I'm just for dramatic effect, delete those. These are the five that I really use inside of my vault today. 
Now I'm going to show you how to actually create this for yourself. Okay. And I guess before that I get into that, I also need to explain to you how this links together with your weekly notes, your monthly notes, quarterly and yearly. So the first thing to understand is you can see on the left over here, I've got this folder called reviews. And inside of there, I've got five different folders. So I've got the daily folder, monthly, quarterly, weekly, yearly, right? So these are all different folders and it's important that they're in the structure because I'm going to show you later with periodic notes, how to set it up. So the daily one is what I just showed you over here. This is every single day. It just logs this automatically whenever I click on this button over here, which is quite convenient. Then we've got weekly. So weekly, um, you can see if I go to my weekly review, this is showing the, like the current week. All right. So generally I would put my goals in here. I could say like task one, task two. And then when I go back, you'll see that it actually has embedded my week inside of uh, my daily notes. I can see it every single day. Cool. Now you've also got uh, monthly. So monthly is going to be, if you, if you just look over here, monthly is where I've got the following notes. I've got the direction. So the direction that I want to move in um, as I do like, so this is where you review like your previous month. So I've got the direction I want to move in. I've got um, core principles. So this is like, a list of um, the just a couple of principles that I that I value and that I uh, want to like remind myself of often. And then I've got like a yearly vision. So this is again embedding the yearly note. Uh, it's embedding the yearly note into my uh, Obsidian Vault. And then I've also got last month. So this is embedding the previous month's review into the current month. So you see how all of this is happening automatically because of the setup that I'm going to be sharing with you. It's really quite amazing. This is why I love this um, setup so much because you don't really have to touch anything once it's working. So this is the, um, I guess then there's other reflections, just things that I'm, I'm looking at. And then, yeah, this is the current month's review. All right, cool. So the next thing is the quarterly one, just so that you can kind of see this is how it works. We've got the direction, we've got the yearly OKRs, uh, last quarter, and then this quarter, I'll show you Q4. You can see yearly OKRs once again, um, last quarter, and then this quarter. And all of these things are kind of moving from daily, weekly, monthly, year, uh, quarterly, and then yearly, right? And then I'll just show you the yearly one just to top it off. So in the yearly one, I've got it set up like this. I've got key results that I want to be working on. I've got uh, related core concepts. And then I've also got initiatives for each one of these results that I want to hit. I've got the, the following different initiatives. And yeah, this is kind of just how I do it myself. So that's kind of the outline. Now I can finally get into showing you how do you actually set this up? Okay, the first thing you need to download is you're going to go to your community plugins and make sure that you have the following plugin periodic periodic notes. Okay, so it's called periodic notes, you want to make sure that you install this and then once it's set up, uh, the next thing to do is actually to create the following folders. So you can see over here, this is uh, the folders that I use, I've got a, a head like a, a main folder which I call reviews then I've got daily monthly quarterly weekly and yearly so simply you just click on create a folder I could say test and then inside of here I'll just do the exact same thing so okay so that's a note um, that's a folder I say daily and you kind of just go like that so that's an example of what you want to be setting up and the important thing to mention is you don't have to set up all of them so if you only want to be measuring your daily and your weekly and yearly you don't have to worry about the other ones this is just kind of extra that you can actually do uh, using the periodic notes plugin anyways going back to the plugin over here you can see we've got okay periodic notes. What you want to do is you want to set the default location for all of these different um, folders. So you can see the notes folder. Um, I've got it set to reviews slash daily. The week folder is reviews slash weekly. The, the month folder is reviews slash monthly. And if you don't want to use the monthly one, you can always just click this to turn this off. You can turn off the quarterly one, etc. Now, once this is set up, the next thing that you have to set up, um, there's another plugin, which is also an amazing plugin, and that is called Templater. So you want to go to Templater. All right, cool. So here, um, this plugin, you want to make sure that you have this installed, and this allows you to create the functionality of templates inside of your vault, which is quite amazing. So just to give you an idea of how templates work, you can see 
I will delete this quickly. Okay, so I've got a folder called templates and templates is basically where you store all of the notes that you wanna use over and over and over again. So you can see I've got daily, weekly, monthly. If I go to the daily one, this is what it looks like. I've got some code over here that shows you the current date. Then I've got exactly as I showed you, the five minute morning, the weekly overview, the work matrix, etc. And I could even take these ones and kind of like, I guess what I'm gonna do is just archive them. So I'll maybe just do that archive and just take them like that okay so that's pretty much how your your template gets set up you can set this up in whatever way you want that's the beauty of this you could just start with a simple headline that says to do's and then all you would do is like create like a checklist for yourself that you can use to start with every single day and then when you log into your obsidian you can literally just click on that template and it's going to pre-populate it for that day so that's really the amazing thing about this right so you want to set up templates for the following for daily for weekly right so you want to set up templates like this weekly yearly and uh, monthly and kind of just go through the entire the process that you of, of the of the notes that you want to see at every one of these files by the way if you want to have this exact setup like i know this is it's a little bit complicated to set this up yourself i have got this inside of my patreon patreon um you can actually get access to this so yeah that's there if you want this and uh, that also helps to support me a little bit um, but either way this is pretty much how it works right okay so you've got your periodic notes set up you've got your template set up and now the next thing to do is just go back to periodic notes over here and what you want to do is just set your templates folder so once you've got the templates set up you just want to you want to link to all of your different templates folders so templates for the daily templates for the weekly templates for the monthly etc and now now this is where it all comes together when you install periodic notes you're going to get access to this which is a button that says open today so when you click on this it's going to open the current day's date with your template and then uh, the last plugin that you're going to want to download just for this specific example that i've also found is really helpful is called obsidian 42 jump to date okay so this is the one you want to get when you install this what it essentially does is it's got a, a calendar I can literally just jump to any any date inside of my vault and you can see here's all of the the notes from that specific day so it allows you to kind of time travel in your vault like I could go back to the 24th of August and I can see all the stuff from there and this is really the the, the whole big picture of how I manage every single day um, in Obsidian how I manage my daily notes I just click on the open daily and that's kind of how I do it so Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it wasn't too complicated. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. As mentioned, I am going to be linking to, you can download like a, an example, like template of everything that I showed you here inside of my Patreon. And um, that will be in the link in the description. And uh, with that said, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to be making a lot more of these plugin videos. I've got so many that I want to talk about. There's data view. Uh, there's there's not, uh, more stuff you can do with Templator. There's the snippets plugin that makes things so easy and, and effective. And um, yeah, I'm really excited for it. So stay tuned for the next one and I'll see you. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.